long way, uh, one of the greatest point fighters that ever lived, quite honestly. And um, fantastic in movie making process throughout the years. When it came down to making a movie in uh, Hong Kong, Jackie Chan hired him along with Benny Urquidez to do Meals on Wheels. Phenomenal kicker, phenomenal athlete. He played Nemesis in one of my movies called The Cutoff, where he was a fan of Monster. We had an exciting time. Also, uh, he cares about people. Like most of us, like all of you out there, like Dr. Goldman said, and uh, everybody else that's speaking up here, Billy. It's about the youth of America, it's about taking care of people. And Keith is one of those people that taught kids for many, many years. I was honored, I was uh, inducted to the Battle of Atlanta Hall of Fame along with Keith. And uh, great memorable moments for me. But uh, again, Keith Vitale, phenomenal human being. Keith. so driven, and that's, that's what I love. Before I got to all these films, and you notice that none of my acting was on there, they really showcased my kicks. <laughs> it probably says a lot, but, uh, <laughs> but it's about, what Dr. Goldman said, it's about being passionate, it's about being driven. And just to show you a little bit about my, my personality, I had a track scholarship to college in Charleston. I came home for the summer when I was young. I met a karate instructor at USC. And after meeting him for two or three hours, I went back home, called up my coach in college, dropped my scholarship, and said, I want to start doing that thing called karate. And I said, oh my gosh, I was so in love. I was driven, I started training, I did very well, and the first ratings came out alphabetically. My name is Vitaly, so out of the top ten is said Vitaly. And everybody was congratulating me, going, oh, this is so wonderful. I went, no, I'm number ten. I don't mind being number ten if the other nine beat me. I will go find every one of those guys, and I'll make sure. So I did. The next year, I was number one. The year after, I was number one. The year after, I was number one. very proud that I was voted the top 10 fighters of all time in the history of martial arts. But what I'm just as proud of, very, very proud of, is that just like you, and this is a great story for filmmakers, I was sitting at home one day and I had an idea because I love teaching kids. And I had an idea and I said, most of the time in martial arts schools we're teaching about punching and kicking and elbowing, and I went, no, most of the time when you're being bullied, the child's being bullied, they're bullied by somebody they know. You know, a brother, a sister, or somebody they know. So I came up with an idea, and if you're passionate, if you have ideas, I wrote a script that night, just a small little thing. I hired a producer friend of mine, I put a few kids together, we filmed it, not a big deal, three weeks, uh, three months later, I'm on the Oprah show, I'm the front page of USA Today. I'm, I'm in every syndicated newspaper in the United States with its video. And it was about working with kids, teaching kids how to defend themselves without hurting the other child. And that resonated through America, and I got it every video store in the United States because of that. to anybody telling me there's a million karate videos out there. I didn't care. I was passionate, I was driven, and I said, I have an idea, I'm gonna follow through, it doesn't matter if I fail 15 times. I was blessed. I hit the home run the very first time. Then, I was blessed again. My first film was a small little film. I was on 13 covers my first year, my, my last year of martial arts. And then Cannon Films was looking for a new star, and they saw me shoot covers, and they flew me out. And I did a movie called Revenge of the Ninja, 
which started all the ninja movies, the craze, and it was the first movie to get a national release, domestic release. I, was, I had two premieres, one in, in Atlanta, one in Los Angeles, and nobody at that time had ever heard of that. So totally blessed, and then Jackie Chan calls up and says, would you like to be in a movie with me? And I went, sure, why not? So, but that being blessed, I don't call it being blessed as much as I call it being driven and being passionate, loving what I do, and then of course, I'm blessed to have my beautiful wife, Kathy. So happy birthday, baby. And again, I'm very honored to be here on this stage with these phenomenal other Icon Award winners. I'm very blessed, oh my gosh, I'm honored and humbled to be up here. Thank you very much.